Good afternoon everybody, I'm Robert from El Magnifico Games and today we're going to continue our RimWorld playthrough. In the last session we saw the attacks and various other random negative random events that the game throws at us becoming increasingly severe. We managed to weather it all though without any serious losses as far as I recall. I certainly don't think we lost a colonist and I believe the all that's left for us to do is gather together some resources in particular plasteel, build some combat equipment, build the spaceship and then attempt to survive the several days it takes for the spaceship to power up in which we're going to be apparently bombarded by attack after attack after attack. So, let's get started. Steel, uranium, plasteel, so we'll probably want to move the drill over there. Where's the drill currently? 
it's over here. It was grabbing uranium, but... Oh, it looks like we've already ordered the deep drill to be moved. Fair enough. Oh yes, and we'd even begun building the the power conduits would need. Uh, I'm not sure I fully understand why there's a bunch of silver there. Bit odd, but still. That's odd. Donna's hiding in a room. According to his mental state. Huh. I can't explain that. How odd. It looks like Don is having a It looks like he's broken. How strange. I have no idea what that's about. Still. So we need to get a plastic deal. If we want to build the ship, what we're we going to need. Lots of steel. Do we have enough steel? Uh, no, nothing like. Bit of uranium. We almost certainly have that. Looks like it's just steel and plus steel we're incredibly short on. way I'm supposed to put these together. That's probably worth looking up. built under a roof and must be connected. Additionally, the head end of each cryptosleep casket must be placed adjacent to a structural beam. Only one occupied cryptosleep ship casket is necessary for launch, but each colonist or animal you'd wish to evacuate must have their own casket. Currently, animals have to be carried to caskets while downed. The easiest way to do it is to apply an anesthesia on them. The ship's launch readiness can be displayed by selecting any ship part and clicking show launch report. It will either list efficiencies or display ready for launch. Masterwork. Oh, Bill has made a, a Masterwork Devil's Strand Parker. The ship needs three things to launch. Have all parts built and connected? Have the ship reactor started? Have at least one ship crypto sleep casket full? Get the ship reactor started. Click on the ship reactor and click on start ship. It takes 15 days to charge up and will attract raiders, so you should be prepared for a season of intense combat. After the time period has been completed and your colonists are inside the cryptosleep caskets, you may launch the ship by selecting the ship computer core and click launch ship. This is all on the RimWorld wiki. Tip. It is how possible to activate the ship engine without the rest of the ship built, so the best way to complete the ship quest is first build the ship reactor and 
haul it in, then activate when you're ready. After 15 days, if you survive, you can start to gather all the resources and build the ship. Hmm. Mad tortoise. Well, that doesn't seem particularly concerning. Several separate groups of mechanoids from the Ethiri mecha hive mech hive have arrived in transport pods nearby. That is more concerning. Okay, it looks like it's just down there. Nowhere else. Alright. Everyone? Drafted. Into positions, please. Uh-oh. Bill may be in trouble here. And he's pathing relatively intelligently. No, 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 not Bill, not Bill. Uh, okay, I don't know why. This is not ideal. How's Bill doing? Death in six hours. Looks like he's not been seriously harmed though. He's just been cut a few times. Death, Bill. Oh no, that is colossally awful. This is of course Bill Stun, it was named after him. He was in many ways a uh, a prime colonist. Oh that is a blow. That is a colossal blow. What we should probably do is I understand there are powerful substances in the game that can resurrect people. So perhaps the proper call here then is going to be to create a space in the freezer for his body and prevent him from rotting and then see if we can buy one of those very expensive Substances to resurrect. I don't think we have any already. I will have to go through our stuff and make sure that's the case, though. Oh no, we do want fresh. Corpses. Do my like corpses. Right, that narrows it down. And we'll make the priority critical. Right, if that's the end of the attack, I believe it is, let's have someone immediately move him. That's strange. Oops. No, don't bury him. I want you to... Put him over here. Okay, maybe... The problem is... We need someone to move this. Okay, you're all undrafted, but I'm keeping... What are you doing? You're moving... Okay, that looks okay. I don't think anyone's going for Bill yet.
Why are they so inefficient? Right, now can you prioritize hauling him, please? Thank you. Why do we have no power? Oh, dear. But seriously, why do we have no power? Because this has all been destroyed. That's why we have no power. Donna, I need you to finish this immediately. If you don't... No. Finish this immediately. Why are you... Oh, are you gathering... Ah, okay, that makes sense. He was. No, I... Finish it all. Why? Because unfortunately the temperature in there is rising. In fact, it has risen. It's well above freezing right now. All our food is going off and so is the body. Donna, why? Why must you be like this? Okay, that's why. There we go. Now we should have power coming back. Unless there's another break I've missed. There's another break. There we go, power's coming back. Now we can put Donna back onto a normal schedule. And we can put his priorities back. Go, the temperature's going down. Won't spoil. Okay. Now we can start worrying about whether we have any resurrection serums, which I'm pretty sure we don't. Do we have any quests that would allow us to earn some? Elamax serum, but that doesn't resurrect them. No. Here, that's Helamax serum.
Sorry about that. Um, yeah, this is bad. I take it we can't make resurrection. Uh, I thought, I'm not even sure what they're called. Resurrection serums, possibly? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, that is a blow. That is a huge blow. Let's hope we get the opportunity to acquire some... Resurrection serums in the future. Oh dear, what happened here? Tortoise bite? Oh dear. We completely forgot, well I completely forgot about the tortoise. I believe this one was the one that, yeah, it didn't have the majority of our bills on it. So I should probably turn this one off for now. Because this was the one, because I had two fabrication benches. be no funeral. There we go. They shouldn't touch him now. There will be no funeral because I do hope to try and have him resurrected. Steel, fantastic. Ah, oh, that's been moved. Donna, would you mind drilling for plasteel? Now if we go to the world map, I believe that's the closest place we could go to trade. Problem is, I don't think we could carry that much silver. Okay, hypothetically, if we were to send people up there, that's interesting. Huh. Anyway. That is a long way away due to the route we'd need to take. That's seven days away, so they'd be gone for two weeks. Right, hypothetically, were we to send some people out, how much could they carry? Not a lot. How much would the silver weigh?
Really? Only 20 kilograms? Alright, this is doable then. The problem is we might send people out to trade like this and then find that they don't have the resurrection serum. Let's see what the wiki has to say about resurrection serums. Resurrect a mech serum. There's an item found in quests that can resurrect any deceased human or animal. Okay, so it can otherwise be acquired, it would seem. Acquisition. Resurrection mech serums cannot be crafted nor bought from trade. It's just that they can only be acquired as a reward for performing quests. Note that quest rewards are selected with weighted random generators, so there is no way to guarantee access to a serum in a given playthrough. Anecdotally, it is often reported that the increased number of reward options added by DLC dilute the reward pool with more options. That is unfortunate. That makes it significantly less likely that we will be able to acquire a resurrection serum. Resurrect a mech serum. Be bothered by Bill's passing. Eh? Uh, Missy gets a rush from hurting people and never minds the sight of blood or death. She is four times as likely to start a social fight as others. Huh. I don't think that would explain this though. Looks like I'm going to have to temporarily disallow this. That's the work. Bennett has created a granite small sculpture. This sculpture bears an artwork of Bill Cordova adding surface detail to a charge rifle while wiping the sweat from his forehead. The list of charge rifles seemingly without effort. The image somehow expresses both tyranny and oppression. The representation relates to Bill completing work on a charge rifle on the 6th of Jugust. 5,505. Mm. Quest available. Mm. Cold snap. Well, that cold snap's going to kill all our crops. Fortunately, we have plenty of food in storage. Fingers crossed this will lead to a resurrection serum. Nope. No such luck. Why no power? Oh, those are just turned off, are they? Yeah. 
Major break risk. Why is Alan... Why are Alan... Why is Alan a major break risk? And why is Donna a minor break risk? Brawler has ranged weapon. I hate shooting from a distance. Want to get up close and personal. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why you have that, to be honest. Let's give you a melee weapon. There we go. Happy? Happier. Yeah, we're about to get alerts about all our plans dying. Now I'm wondering if we should actually build the spaceship indoors, uh, well I say indoors, if we should extend the base out and build the spaceship somewhere like here and just not have a roof there, because it doesn't say that we can't have walls around it and that will make it much easier to defend. Still that's not the priority right now, the priority right now is gather as much plast steel as we can, as well as regular steel. How are we doing on regular steel? Pretty badly. And see if we can do anything about poor Bill. Just want to make sure that his body being there isn't upsetting people. Doesn't look like it. More underground steel. Maybe we should make a casket for him that's in here, which should preserve his body anyway because it will be cold enough. So then they could have, then we could have the best of both worlds. So they could have their funeral. And we should still be able to resurrect him later, because the body won't spoil. That's probably the right call. Yeah, a wooden sarcophagus would do, because... It would only be temporary.
Right, I can assign a colonist. This will be for Bill. Right, there we go. And you can have a funeral for him whenever you wish. I'm fairly certain while his body is in there it won't spoil. Although it doesn't look that way. Okay, uh, that deterioration rate isn't the current rate, it's uh, the average rate, okay, so in which case I don't think This sarcophagus is engraved with an illustration of Bull put over polishing the surface of a charge rifle while smiling proudly. A thousand historians marvel at the device. The donkey poses to the right of the main scene. The overall composition is dynamic. This depiction relates to Bill completing work on a charge rifle on the 9th of August uh, 5505. Yeah, so maybe I should double check the. The body won't decay as long as the sarcophagus is in a cold enough room. I don't think it should. As sarcophagi can be placed in freezers to preserve their inhabitants, they are a good method for protecting the corpses of colonists waiting for resurrection mech serum from hungry animals and overly efficient butchers. <laughs> right, we may as well begin the funeral, I suppose. As was... I'm not sure why Az is the uh, speaker, given that she's his ex-wife, who at the very beginning of the playthrough we used psychic powers to try and get them back together, and then he jilted her. But, very well. Good funeral. The funeral is good. The speaker's final words provide a path for everyone to move on. Everyone participating in the ritual gains. Plus five mood for six days. Funeral total quality was 54% determined by these factors. Okay.
hopefully that'll be a large enough area to build the spaceship in. Goodness, that plaster got used up quickly. Probably to build the marine armor. One of which was supposed to be for Bill, who's currently no, not with us. Oh, this quite a lot of this is steel. That's very fortunate. How did that get there? Why do we have an indoor animal? A, bo a boom rat, that's the one. Mad raccoon. That doesn't particularly worry me. Now, do we have any... Is that our boom rat? That is our boom rat. That'll be why. Oh, well. I'm not particularly worried. Bothered, I should say. Yeah, this is going to be a welcome addition to our steel. some granite walls to help do we have much granite no nor much marble well that's a problem I was gonna say to seal up some of this so that we're not just one tile away from someone breaking in but clearly we no longer have those supplies we have loads of marble chunks though, okay. Sounds like Bennett's done everything she can for the moment. Or looks like rather. Uh, so let's make marble walls then. Wait, do we definitely not have 
run it. Doesn't look like it. Maybe this is all marble. Yep, looks that way. Okay, then this is the correct way to go about it. Mechanoid cluster, wonderful. Do we want to do that or do we want to leave this area as a possible other exit? I think we probably want to do the latter. That would mean leaving that corner vulnerable. So we mine that out. And... Well, once that's mined out, then we can build a bit more wall there. Right, mechanoid cluster. <gasps> I think this might be game. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Still pretty dreadful, though. Countdown activator. Well, we'll just have to face them when they get activated, then. I certainly don't feel like assaulting this... ...this cluster. Look at our steel going up. Wonderful. Why no power? EMI field? Uh, it's blocking our power. Okay, well then we have to assault it now. Even if it kills everyone. Because we can't afford to have Bill's corpse Rot. Since you've decided to take the marine armor for yourself, you can move up. Right, Patricia and Slicker are two main gunners. Where do I want them placed? Here and here, maybe? Everyone else? Hold on. Why do all these melee, melee people have shield belts on? You can give those to the gunners. Okay, this is more sensible. get their attention without taking too much of a risk. Wait, if you walk in there, will that alert them? Wait, there are no mechagnoids, they're all turrets. If I'd realised that, I'd have gone about this very differently. 
I am a fool, because it obviously says auto charge tower. Alright, if that's the case. It's right there. What am I missing? I don't understand. All right, well. So strange. Can Patricia? No. Oh well, I guess I'll have them join the melee attack. In fact... Though I'm going to have to be careful the exact moment this thing goes down, because we will no, presumably no longer have cover. If they have no mechanoids here, I see no reason to finish off these turrets. I could just leave them there as basically extra defences. Right, time to leave. There we go. So I can't go up this way because the turrets will try to destroy us, try to kill us. But I can equally just rely on it there as an additional defense. Oh, trade. Didn't notice that. we got here. If I sell them all that, then... Well, I can't sell them all that because they don't have enough money. Is there anything I would want to buy off them? Maybe the pemmican? Travel? Don't think so, though. Nah. Hmm, 
actually that could be a major problem if I, when leaving the area, if they want to leave the area up the top. I was going to see a major freight risk. Confined interior. How did that happen? Well, no wonder. Slept in ground, slept in cold. You built yourself into a corner, didn't you? No. Don't build another wall to trap yourself with. Leave. Uh, I'm gonna cancel all this, I don't trust them. Okay, so the reason they couldn't fire is because the shield blocks attacks both ways. I didn't realise that. Attempt to stop incoming predictors or shrapnel, but does nothing against melee or heat. It prevents a wearer from firing out. Okay. That explains a lot. joking. There's a grenade if you going everywhere. Oh, they're killing Bennett. I didn't realise Bennett was out here. Phew. Alright, Donna will have to come to the rest of them. Bennett is in surprisingly good 
shape considering. Very poor jaw. What happened to your jaw? Did you get a cracked jaw? You did. Alright, what are we looking at? Looks like the attack is mostly over. Right kidney destroyed. Ouch. Yep. Okay, so despite that being an absolutely brutal attack, it wasn't very successful. Digging deep into our component store. Still, that's what it's there for. Security for friends. Stone skin gland. Da, da, da. No, no resurrection. Resurrectal mech serum there. No resurrectal mech serum there. No resurrectal mech serum. Nothing can remove the thick roofs. Oh, in which case this isn't going to work. I won't be able to build the. Here. Well, I may as well finish excavating it out because we'll get we'll get some components from it, which is very nice. We've already got some steel from it, and it may come in useful at some point. Self-tamed squirrel. The squirrel has become tame. It is now designated squirrel one. Starving as but as is eating. Mm, I should really build some more redundancy into the power grid so that if part of it's destroyed, it's not that big of a deal.
there. That's not amazing on its own, but it should help. Sensory mechanites, slippers, got them again. Looks one of our most effective fighters and she's out of action. And we can't even do the old trick of having Bill remove her pain so that she can fight for a time given that Bill's currently dead. There's plasteel just up there. That's good to know. What else do we have? Steel, uranium, steel, jade, steel, steel, uranium, plasteel. Hmm. Oh, we've still got a lot of plasteel over there. But good to know. Can I build a pain blocker? That might be a good investment. Doesn't look like it. Brain wiring. Yeah, and we don't have brain wiring. So that would be a tech print we'd have to buy. Worth remembering though. More underground plasteel, eh? That's close by. And there's a lot of it. Okay, that's very good to know. from the attack. if those turrets are going to kill anyone that tries to trade with us, maybe we do need to deal with them. Donna was crushed to death! Donna should be buried and given a funeral so his friends and family can save her well. Oh no, the roof collapsed. Oh. 
a temple sarcophagus built. to get that body out there now. Uh, Donna was a miner. Who can even mine decently well? Patricia just about. Solomon. Solomon can. Okay. been put in there of all places? Why? Contents none. So no, they haven't. Where's Donna's body? Their body's just not on the map. Was her body completely destroyed? Uh, I'm going to have to change Solomon from... Being primarily a researcher to being primarily a miner. Donna there. As is, uh, sorry, now Solomon is dead. Wonderful. And no body, so that confirms it. Oh, that's the third colonist we've lost this session. an exotic goods trader was passing by. Oh, that sort. Uh, 
plastic. Oh, we'll take all your plastic off. Seems like a fair trade. Okay. Let's cancel the mining of this out. So I guess you need supports if you want to mine out an area that large. And the body is just completely destroyed. That seems buggy. I should mark this off as not being in the home area now, shouldn't I? So no one wanders in there and gets killed on accident. Oh, it isn't. Fair enough. Right, so who's going to become our primary miner? Patricia, I suppose. Back off, Patricia. Uh, draft you. Back off. Oh, the I was gonna give you Donna's mech suit, but the um, marine suit. But of course, that was destroyed. Uh, I don't think I can get up there to rescue in time. So that's another colonist dead, who I can't save. No, I can't save them. Uh, no, I can't. I don't have the means. I should have taken this out when I had the chance. This puts me in a bit of a conundrum. I don't think we can win the game from here. I think it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. And we'll lose. I could reload. But that could be considered cheating. But of course this game doesn't like to let you... It doesn't like you to completely lose. It tries to force you to have some people left alive. Which means it feels like this is never going to end. We've got no one to treat Patricia.
Who in theory could? Who has a not too terrible medical? As. Let's have As pick up some of the herbal medicine. And treat. Okay. How are we going to do this? Their range is ridiculous. Yeah, even an auto cannon. We couldn't get close enough to build one of those. I think our home zone is that. Let's take off the top of that. Reduce the chance someone accidentally gets in range. That's good to know. Uh, it said compacted plastic here. I'm not seeing it. Strange. actually suspend these for now. Let's just gather up as much as we can and see if we can build a ship. Gather up as much plastic as we can and see if we can build a ship. If it's big enough to get everybody off world how many do we have left we have seven left no we have six colonists left left okay so that's six crypto sleep uh, yeah i think we can afford that we will need more steel though Is Patricia a major break risk? My husband Solomon died. Well, I appreciate that.
has where some of the plastic and steel has been going. Ballet completing the project that presumably will the uh, bill started. Shell would be useful if you had a way to if we had a way to fire it. find a way to afford the phoenix armor then we might be able to get someone up close enough to do we not have even one charge lance we'd also need to buy a charge lance then which isn't going to happen okay that plan's not going to work really change their allowed areas to make sure they don't go up that way. Oh, that is an allowed area. Okay. Then that should work. I think. Or do I need to select everyone? Um. Ah, you're only allowed at home. That's how we do it. Patricia 
defecto has suffered a total mental breakdown and entered a catatonic state. She will recover in several days. I just can't think of any way to get the things we need to get off world. reload because that feels like cheating but I just can't see a good way out of this Is that combat supplies still there? No. Okay. I did think of a way that we might possibly be able to destroy those, but that doesn't help our wider goal of getting off world.
I really regret not taking that mission now that was offering us was it two or three he uh, resurrection max serums from before Oh dear. I don't think they'll collect anything though, because I've told them to stay home. I could make a route for them to go down there and pick that up, but I don't think there's... I don't think it's that important. strange noise. Why would you go that way? I told you to stay home. <laughs> this is so stupid, but the only thing... Oh, but we've got... I can't rescue them. They're going to die in four hours. Now we have no builder. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to die here, but... Uh, no, actually, bunch up out here, ready. Now attack. This is so silly, they're all just going to die, but if they're all going to die slowly anyway, I don't see what alternative I have. I just have to risk it and hope. Wait, did I have another shield belt? Yes, I should have had Bennett wear a shield belt. Oh, that's on me. Let's have Bennett hide. Yep. Sensing trouble, a mysterious man in black has arrived. Will he be able to set things on the right path? answer.
Buffalo Self Tame. The game's trying to be really, really nice to me now. After it's detected that I've lost a lot, and so it's trying to just trigger good events to help me out. Oh, maybe not. Well, I. To be fair, our normal defences will probably protect us. Actually, if they're coming from that direction, the mech turrets will defend us. They're doing a lot better than I thought they would. Unless he can write himself, he's this new gentleman's going to die. Orb world urchin, the Orb worlds, ancient and deep industrial cityscapes, bursting with humanity and poison. Panida grew up in the dark and wanted to reach of such a place here to fight for every scrap of food. Medieval lord. Panida was a lord on a pre-industrial planet. He went to parties, managed the underlings, and even learned some swordplay. His soft hands did not hold a work tool during that entire time. He considers manual labor to be beneath him. Interesting. Has ah, Patricia's woken up. And somehow seems to not be bothered by all the death. Oh no, I take it back. I was looking in the wrong place, wasn't I? Uh, unrestricted. Unrestricted. Right. Better grab everything we can. Do we have anyone to cook? No. Oh, well then, growing and plant cutting and so on is useless. This hunt. Uh, no, actually, that's not true. No, that is true. Might as well take that one off as well. We'll just have to hope we can get off world before we run out of all those meals we've built up.
So that means all the the f initial colonists died. Alan, as and Bill were our initial colonists. They're all dead. I mean, I would say we should stick them in storage and try and resurrect them, but with only two colonists left, we don't stand much of a chance of completing the severity of quest that would be required to get some resurrection serum, so there's no point. Hold on, if this is the case, where's the mech serum? The healer mech serum. Am I not allowed to use that? Oh, I'm not allowed to use that to heal Slick. Nothing I can do then. I don't have any way to reduce her pain temporarily so that she can walk. Could I order her to do it anyway? No. They need to build the spaceship. Just plus steel and steel. Thank you. 
So let's start planning out the ship. It can go down here, I suppose, since I think this is the least likely direction we'll be attacked from. Colonist needs rescue. Well, she's probably going to die then. Catatonic breakdown. Nothing I can do. And then Slick will probably die because there'll be no one tending her. And to think, for a brief moment I thought those two alone might make it. because the structural beam hasn't been built yet. But that's what it would take. <laughs> well, if Pat Patricia doesn't recover, she's just going to starve to death there. And if she's not up, then no one's feeding Slick, so Slick will also perish. Nutrition trivial. Trisha's collapse due to extreme exhaustion. My nutrition minor. Needs a doctor, I'm sure. The question is, will either of them recover in time? Travelers are approaching looking for help. The travelers are begging for 110 silver. They want the silver so they can buy back a friend who was recently who was recently kidnapped. I mean, I couldn't stop you from just going in and taking it. <laughs> Walking straight past Patricia. Our 
nutrition surveyor. hunting Patricia for food. Well, that's that then. Oh, what a horrible way to go. Wait, that cougar is now hunting the timber wolf. What an unexpected turn of events. But even so... Yeah, she's bleeding to death. Two hours. One hour. And poor Patricia has passed on. That means there is no one to help Slick, so either Slick has to get over the sensory mechanites immediately, or that will be the end of them. The irony being the colossal amount of food we have saved up. Everyone is dead or gone. This story is over. Perhaps someone else will find a use for the ruins of this place. Wow. What happens if I select keep playing? Nothing to do. So, that was RimWorld. Oh well, disappointing. Certainly a lot of things I would do differently, now I know. I didn't understand how the collapsing roof mechanic worked and so I ended up losing two colonists to that completely unnecessarily. Of course at the very start of the stream, Bill getting caught out, that was careless. And devastating. Still, it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed the journey with me. I'll be streaming again probably tomorrow. I will pick some game to play. Uh, but I will also be streaming on Monday in which, again, I need to choose a game. We just completed Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, which was very good. And I'm either going to start on Monkey Island 3, or I might pick another adventure puzzle game to complete um, before I start Monkey Island 3, because I've done two Monkey Island games back to back. Might be nice to vary it up, so I've still got that decision to make, but I'll be playing some sort of puzzle or adventure game on Monday. Wednesday will be the usual poetry, prose and riddles stream. And then next Friday, whatever will, whatever I uh, choose to replace RimWorld, I suppose. Oh, thank you, Jenny. She says, look forward to your streaming tomorrow.
So, thank you for coming. I hope you have a nice night. Good night. Thank you.